everybody. My name's uh, Jamie Barrett. Some of you might call me Mr. Barrett. Some of you might call me Jamie. Um, I'm a music teacher here at Jefferson Elementary School. This is the music room at Jefferson Elementary School. I also, also teach over at Davis there. And I got some wonderful questions from some of Mrs. Mac's, Mrs. Mac Murray's students. Uh, Mrs. Mac is a very good friend of mine, and I've known her for many, many years, and she's a wonderful music teacher, so you are all very lucky to have her as a music teacher. I have such respect for Mrs. Mac Murray. Um, and I'm so thrilled that she asked me about uh, doing this. I was very honored, so, and I love all the questions. So we're going to get to the questions right now. Question number one on my list up here is from Brielle and Tessa from JFK, and Stella and Emily from Parmenter. And their question is, uh, when did you write the Franklin song? The song I was just kind of playing right there, messing around with. I would have to say, I started teaching in 1999. I think the Franklin song came a few years later, around 2002, 2002 2003, maybe? Uh, early 2000s and uh, and I made a book children's book about it in 2006 and then just a couple of years ago we made a video of it uh, we shot it down in central uh, right down in downtown Franklin but so uh, but the song was written in the early 2000s I have to go back and double check but like I'd say 2002 2003 a few years after I started teaching second grade teacher asked me to write it because they were learning about the town of Franklin the city knows the town of Franklin in second grade um, how long did it take you to write the Franklin song um, songs can take various times. Um, the Franklin song took me about, literally, the gist of it, the mo took me about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to kick that song out and write that song. Other songs are taking me years to write. I have other songs that I'm still working on that are not finished, I, and I put too much, I don't know, importance on them or something, and they just take me too long to write. But the Franklin song came together in about 10 minutes. Um, how many songs did you write? Oh, I'm sorry, how, did, how long did it take to write the Franklin song? Stephen at Parmenter asked that question. Uh, how many songs did you write? Jenna, Max, Gabby, Wes, F, Sydney, and Ben from Parmenter want to know that. Uh, how many songs have I written? I've written like hundreds, maybe two to 300 songs. A lot of them not very good. Many of them probably not very good, um, but I think a few some people enjoy listening to, so that makes me happy. Um, where did you learn how to play the guitar? Christian at JFK, uh, formerly from Parmenter, uh, wants to know that. Um, I learned how to play the guitar early on from a bunch of different guitar teachers. As soon as I learned, I had interest. I started off having interest in piano and then clarinet, and I still play both of those and enjoy those. But um, the guitar is where I got, I got real passionate about the guitar. And so I had lots of different guitar teachers when I was growing up. And then I went to lots of music schools. And my favorite, I think, was the first one. I went out to Hollywood, California to Musicians Institute and learned how to play better out there. Um, is guitar hard? My sister wants to learn. Maddie M at JFK wants to know. Um, any instrument can be hard and any instrument can be easy. Um, if you really love something, I think you'll overcome the obstacles. I think the hardest obstacle about the guitar is pressing the fingers down on the strings. So if you pick a steel string guitar, that can be kind of tricky. You might want to choose a softer string guitar, like a nylon string, a classical guitar. Uh, you might want to start off with ukulele with Miss Mac because that is a great way to lead into guitar. Um, so um, guitar, it can be hard, it can also be easy. Depends on how much you love it, because if you just keep doing something you love, it gets easier and easier, right? Uh, my next question is from, um, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, is it Nisa or Nisa? Uh, and it's from, I'll say Nisa and Elizabeth from Parmenter and Maddie B from JFK. And says, what was the very first song you made? Oh, the very first song I made was with an older brother, Ben, I believe. Pollution is a bad thing. It kills off every living thing, like all the fish that live in the sea. And you and me, hey man, stop pollution. Hey man, stop pollution. Yeah, not very good, but a song called Pollution. And, uh, Later on, I think I tried to write some important songs with my younger brother Josh, like The Great Fire, and tried to have these really important sounding titles to our songs, and just some pretty bad stuff, you know, because you gotta, you know, you just write and you write and you get better. Um, how hard is it to write a song? Uh, Madison G. and Shay from JFK want to know. Um, I don't know, you could do uh, The Sun is Shining, we could go, um, Well, the sun is shining outside. I'll take my bike out and go for a ride. Yeah. I don't want to hide inside. I don't know. 
Um, you could just write about anything, what's around you, and just take that take the inspiration the inspiration from that. Um, I don't know. You can make it as easy or as hard as you want. I still have songs I'm working on because I decided to make those hard, <laughs> and some songs are really easy. Uh, how do you make your music? Gavin at JFK wants to know. Um, various ways. Oh, the next question is kind of similar. It says, how did you write the lyrics and match it with the tune? Sophie at JFK wants to know that. So Gavin and Sophie, um, sometimes I write the music first and then put lyrics to it, and sometimes I write the words first, the lyrics, and then put music to that. So it, it's never the same. I just kind of mix it up, and uh, that's why my tunes kind of sound different. And sometimes they're instrumental. Sometimes there's no words to them. And, and so, um, yeah, I kind of mix it up. Um, am I married and do I have children? Isabella G at JFK wants to know. Well, yes, I am uh, married to a wonderful woman named Kim, uh, Kimberly Marie. I've written songs about her. I wrote a song called Kimberly Marie. I wrote a song called Sedona for her. I wrote a song that I really like called Doggone It Girl for her for uh, Valentine's Day. I have children too. I have a son, Sam, who's in sixth grade. He plays the drums. I have a daughter, Kate. Who's right here right now? She's filming this right now. So, uh, Kate, you are right there. Do you want to say hi, Kate? Hello. Hello. Yeah, she's right there, and you could probably have just you probably just saw your questions that I'm reading. All right. So Kate's right there, and she's filming this. And I wrote a song for Kate called "Beautiful Girl," which I really like. Um, what got you into music? Miles at JFK wants to know. And what inspired you to write all your songs? Matthew at Parmenter wants to know. And what made you love music and want to be a musician? Abigail at Parmenter and Nia at JFK want to know. And what did you decide when you wanted to be a musician? Jameson at Parmenter wants to know. Well, let me start with uh, Miles. What got me into music was probably my family. My family got me into music. My dad played a mean stereo. He doesn't, he's not musical at all, my dad. But um, he loved playing music. He loves, he got me into the Beatles. My dad got me into the Beatles. I love the Beatles because of my dad. Um, he also got me into classical music. I love Sibelius and I love Beethoven because of my dad. My mom got me into folk music, Peter, Paul, and Mary, and Simon and Garfunkel, and lots of other folk singers. And my mom also liked operettas like Gilbert and Sullivan and things like that. So I, she used to perform in those all the time, so I love that. Um, what inspired you to write all your songs? Various things, lots of different things that are, you know, whatever's going on in my life is what I like to write about. If I'm happy, I write happy songs. If I'm sad, I write some sad songs. Um, what made you love music and want to be a musician? Probably my family. Um, my, as I said, my dad got me into music. My mom, my brothers. My brothers got me into this thing called rock and roll, yeah. My brothers got me into the band Kiss, you know, the band that wears the makeup. I, I used to dress up like them for Halloween. And, and bands like Aerosmith and Led Zeppelin and all kinds of Rush, bands like that. Uh, my, my brothers got me into them. Um, let's see, uh, what made you love music and want to be a musician? My brothers, my family, totally, and friends, and wonderful music teachers too, like Mrs. Mack. Uh, when did you decide when you wanted to be a musician? Early on, when I was a young kid. I decided I wanted to be a musician when I was young, elementary school. I, I don't think I chose music, I think it chose me. Um, I think that's just the way it goes sometimes with things. Um, what is your favorite song and why? Anna F. at JFK wants to know. My favorite song is one by Bach called Yezu, Joy of Man's Desire. And you may not recognize, recognize the title, but you might know the tune. It goes... Yesu Joy of Man's Desire is my favorite overall song, song that I love, oh, but my favorite pop song is one by the Beatles, and maybe you've heard this one before, it goes like this. Here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. here comes the sun, and I say, it's alright. popular song of today. Well, not of today. That's many years ago. And then, uh, does your guitar have a name? Does my guitar have a name, Kate? What's it called? It's called Dean. Do you ever see that, everybody? This guitar is called Dean. <laughs> uh, I don't really name my guitars, but, um, but that one's called Dean because it's, uh, I just call it Dean. Um, and my last question. So, Michaela, that was, uh, Michaela wanted to know if my, if my guitar has a name. Yep, it does. That one's called Dean. Um, 
Um, have I ever messed up? Jaden wants to know, Did I? have I ever messed up? Jaden and everybody, I mess up every day, all the time, all the time. I just don't announce it to the world. So I just made a bunch of mess ups when I was playing the Bach piece. I'm sure I messed up when I was playing the Beatles, Here Comes the Sun. Um, we had a chorus concert this morning. That was awesome. It was so awesome. The third, fourth, and fifth graders rocked it. But ask me how many mistakes I made, and I can't even tell you how many. It was so many mistakes. I made so many mistakes, but we all persevered. The students made mistakes. We all make mistakes, but we all persevere, and we're, we all rock it out. So life is full of mistakes, and that's what it's all about. It's like the hokey pokey. All right, peace out, everybody.